Alrighty. Our next daily pattern we're going to do is Tweety. Tweety is got that S shape curvy thing happening. They don't have to. As a matter of fact, they shouldn't touch, it looks like, rather than an OG grid where they actually touch. This is sort of like that, but they don't touch. So it's highly likely that my pattern will end up being wonky. Wonky is good. I'm good with wonky. And then you just do these little arches that you do uh, one, two, three, fill in the middle one, do a little lines, a little eyebrow thingy thing happen in here, and embellish as as you will. So Tweety. Um trying to decide. First thing I need need to think about and decide is how am I going to um, lay out this? Am I going to do it straight up or down? Am I going to do it kind of sideways? Am I going to just going to go kind of free form? Um, I think I'm just going to kind of wing it and go kind of free form. I told you it was going to go wonky. That works. And then in the valley here, we're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. I think the repetition of that is cool. What gets me in the zone here? One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. You'll notice that it looks different just based on on how whoopy this initial line was. I'm going to do like that for that one there. And then inside each of these is going to have a little fill in. And when you fill in, sometimes you can fill in solid like that, but you don't have to. If you did something like that, that's also your eye sees that as being filled in. Maybe I'll do every other one that way. So if you don't like, if you're a kind of person who really just doesn't like to do this coloring in part, just put, you know, lines or cross hatches instead, and your eye will see it as a darker filled in spot. Like that. And then it's got kind of rays coming out like this. And remember to do each one one at a time. I could I could have drawn this and then colored and done each one of these individually separate um, and then moved on to the next one, completed each one, each one of these things and then moved on. But the the repetition of moving 
from one to the other. Now, now I'm doing all these little strokes and do all of them together. It's part of what is really the enjoyable process. And then this next section appears that this next section is is divided into I don't know however many that kind of makes sense about that size. So they don't have to be all exactly the same. and then every other one is colored in. And I think because I colored this solid on this row and I did the um, hatching on that row, I will do it opposite So that my dark, my this row doesn't isn't all completely black, and you'll see. I'll do the coloring in on this one. Every other one. And on this one. And let us see that one first one I started coloring in right at the line. The, the second one I, I made the one next to the line white. doesn't make any difference. And then this one we'll do it this way. Every other one. And oops. I am having a little difficulty with this pen. I've, I've mentioned it before. I had, a, I had a mishap at the beginning of one of the very first videos I did. And I had accidentally pushed a little bit too hard on this nib. And I have no good way of really showing you up close what happened to it but it's slightly bent and if I don't hold my pen just right it <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't write properly so then on this one I'm going to do this crosshatch like I did in the middle here over here just to do that as my fill in like that I need to turn my tile <coughs> Excuse me. My hand works better this direction. And I, for some reason, didn't turn my tile. And it was fine the first one. And the next one got all out of sorts. So we're going to make sure we turn the tile to make the angle proper for my hand. Alrighty, let's see. Make sure what we shade when we shade. That's going to change the whole dynamic of this tile. All right. Um, so it can either go, you know, this way, or that way, or this way. Yeah. Decide which way you like it the best. How how it wants to live in your world. Um, I think I want to put. I think I want to put a border, a wild, wavy border. And these come right up to it. I think that's what I want to do. 
I hadn't decided what it, exactly I was going to do. Just a quickie wavy border. I do like these square tiles with borders. Just for some reason they just they look happy that way. I think it's gonna live that direction. And I'm gonna do like this. And give it a little shading. And I think the in the valley here will be more shadier. Be super worried about whether or not this is solid, because you, when you come back with the blending stump, you'll you'll fill that in. But you do want to make sure you're you're touching that line, because when you if you shade like this, let's say for example you you just left it like that, then this doesn't look it looks like it's floating. It's like a string that's floating in space rather than an object that's up against another object, if that makes any sense. Um, I'll have to show that in another in another video. This isn't a, a good pattern to really show that with. But you want to make sure your your shading is right up against that line. And this looks like it needs, it's not attached here, so it looks funny. So let's do like that. Shade down in the in the deep, and not as shady up there. I think that will do it. And then blend, 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 blend. your shading sometimes will take depending on how complex your tile is your shading could take at least as long or maybe even longer to do than the amount of time it took you to draw so just keep that in mind not that it makes much difference, but if you if you're on a time crunch, um, you know maybe you'll set aside your drawing and come back to it later and do the shading at another time, just because you don't have time to do it proper shading. I've got lots of pieces that I don't quite finish and I come back to at another time. Let's 
Alright, so it can either be that way. I've chosen to make it live that way. And this is the pattern Tweety. There it is. That was a quick and easy one.